Hey guys, it's Balloon here. So this video will be a smaller subsection uh, to the original video conducted for the laning phase of Legion Commander offlane. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you check it out. So what this video will be is it basically will be breaking down for you guys what Crypt Aggro is down to its uh, smallest of details. So you will know how to abuse Crypt Aggro. That means we are looking at the Crypt Aggro range, uh, chase duration, cooldown duration, uh, Crypt Aggro being global and also the aggro. So let's get into it. Do you know how Crypt Aggro works? Like the full breakdown of like uh, um, the duration, the cooldown, uh, the, the range? No, no I don't, no. Okay. So Crypt, like you, if you want to win the lane, you basically it's just abusing Crypt Aggro. If you know how to you, uh, abuse Crypt Aggro, you know Crypt Aggro in and out, you're going to win every lane. Uh, so it's 500 range for melee, 600 for range, uh, 800 for siege. But like range creep, we don't really care about the aggro. We care about the mini creep aggro. Do you know? Do you, right. do you, do you get why? Uh, well, we the, only want the to range creep isn't gonna come attack. <laughs> correct. It's yes, not gonna correct. come attack the other range creep. Yeah, he's just gonna fucking sit here. But yeah. another point is, it it ties back to like how long these creeps are chases. So let's say you move out and you creep aggro here. Even this creep, like even creep aggro like this is poor. You want to creep aggro something like this, you shouldn't creep aggro something like this. Do you know why? It ties uh, back to like chase, it, chase oh, duration. It, yeah. it will. Oh, uh, well, it's gonna, it will also. I'm in range to get the the aggro from the range creep, and I don't have to be. I think is part of it too, right? Uh, no. It it comes down to like, have you like sometimes do you notice that you pull the aggro and they lose aggro on you? Like this creep just stop chasing you. Um, yes. That that is the chase duration. Like, this creep will only chase you for two point three seconds after you aggro. Which after 2.3 seconds, they're going to go back. And they're going to find for something in their range to go into. So let's say you do this. You know what's going to happen in aggro like this? The creeps will stop here and hit you for one second. So once you reach here, it already stopped 2.3. It's out. It'll go back into this because this is the closest thing to it. You get that? Oh, so yeah. So positioning matters, basically. Yes. You cannot let the creep stop. Anytime you cannot be like aggro, I turn back a bit, I I, I go. Because the creeps will stop. 2.3 seconds is very important. Smooth aggro must look something like you click immediately, you just run back. No no obstructions whatsoever. Mm. Let, let me just uh demo this in the lobby now. Show you. Okay, so we have talked about the range. We'll also look at the chase this uh, chase duration, so 2.3 seconds, chase duration after aggroing. Crips will chase you for 2.3 seconds uh, or until it loses vision on you, of you. And then, the import another very important one is the cooldown. So there's a 3 seconds cooldown. Once you click on any enemy hero, Crip aggro is on cooldown. So do you notice sometimes you're trying to aggro but Crips don't come on you, that this is happening. Ah, I see. Also, when you're under the tower and you want to de-aggro, this is happening. That's why the tower keeps hitting you. You cannot change aggro. Oh, I didn't know it went both ways. Global aggro. Uh, Crip aggro is global. What matters is your positioning to the creeps, not where the heroes are. And also, uh, de-aggro comes with aggro. So if aggro is on cooldown, de-aggro is also on cooldown. Interesting. But the aggro itself will not be on cooldown if you don't aggro. So let's say right, the tower right. is hitting you and you didn't click any, any hero, you can immediately de aggro. But if you clicked on the hero and the tower hits you, you try and de aggro, you cannot de aggro. Because you already uh, did this for 3 seconds. That's like a shared cooldown? Yeah, it's a shared cooldown. But the aggro will not cause aggro to be on cooldown. Aggro will cause the aggro to be on cooldown. Got it. Okay, so let's uh, try and apply this. So the first thing we need to practice is 2.3 second chase duration. What is optimal, ideal creep aggro? Good creep aggro must look like this. You're from far, you run in, you click, you run back. See, nothing is obstructing it. Right, right. that is perfect aggro. Poor aggro looks like this. Where you start too close and the creep stop and hit you. So like this. See that? It will not come. Yeah. One, two, done. 
<clears throat> okay. And then uh, chase duration. Let's see chase duration. Oh, chase duration, we yeah, explain. Uh, cool down, cool down. Okay. So let's say I, I fucked up aggro. Like this is outside fire range. This is outside fire range. But I click on him, thinking that it's inside fire range. So I feel aggro. I try and aggro again. All right, it will not work. See, creeps don't come on me because I already uh -huh. activated it here. You get that? Yes, I follow. Yeah. Okay. So it's that... very, very important to be in range yes. to grab that aggro before you click the, the yes. hero, basically. Yes, otherwise if you fuck up aggro, you try and aggro again, every time you aggro, it's going to put yourself out of position, so you get hit. That's why aggro must be very smooth, you must be in and out. You cannot be in, in, out, in again. You you get hit all right, the time right. like this. Yeah. Then here, here's a very good trick, like let's say you're a range hero. Range hero, uh, a lash, okay, let's say I'm lash. And this guy is here. I can purposely fuck up creep aggro so I can hit him without drawing aggro because I make creep aggro on cooldown here by clicking him here. Then I move in, I click him again, and I run. Creeps will not chase me. So uh, I click him here, I move in, I click him again. See that? So I click yeah. him here, I move in, I click him again. Ah, uh, these are these are the advanced tips I need. Yes, I this, know these are like, yeah. if you're playing the very good <laughs> mid laner, it's gonna be like they hit you all the time, but creeps are not chasing them because of this. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is good. This is good. And I, I actually used to play quite a bit of mid lane. Mm. So this is very good information for me. <laughs> but you don't but, need to... Uh, like... you could, yeah, you could be the same information applies anywhere, right? Like, yeah. It doesn't have to be. It's, it's a laning concept. It's not a mid lane thing. Mm. Yeah. But you don't need to... Like, this is a bit advanced. You don't need to do this to win the lane. You just need to do... You just need to know uh, perfect creep aggro. You need to know to deny your creeps. Uh, you need to know to only last hit creeps or like not push the wave out, balance out the creeps to win the lane. Right. Okay. 